Hello and welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a turns ratio test using the three-phase turns ratio and winding resistance test form 56000. Let's get started. Once we have PowerDB open and the three-phase winding resistance and turns ratio 56000 form selected, the first thing we want to do to perform a turns ratio test is go into our test settings, click our test sections, and then pick the appropriate test we wish to perform. Since we are not performing winding resistance, we can turn that off. And we can turn on the primary tabs to secondary nominal and the manual test, the three options that we have for turns ratio testing. Click accept. Now we have the appropriate form. So let's fill in some of our nameplate information. Let's just go ahead and assume that we have a DY1 whose primary is 12,000 volts and whose secondary is 480. The power rating is 1,000 kVA. And on the primary, we have de-energized tap changer and we'll just say that the first tap is 13 kV while the last tap is 11 kV. Now if we scroll down in our turns ratio primary taps to secondary nominal you can see the voltages of our five taps and our voltage of our secondary and you can see here the position of the taps and the calculated turns ratio. Now if we go to our turns ratio of our primary nominal to the secondary taps you can see there is only one test since we only have one tap on the secondary. Let's scroll back up and assume that we have an on load tap changer. So now We've selected 33 taps, nominal being at position 17. Our tap changer is an OLTC or on load tap changer. And let's choose just our first voltage to be 600, while our last voltage is 200. Now let's scroll down and look at that section again. See, now we have the primary nominal to secondary taps. So primary stays nominal and you have your 16 raise, your nominal, and your 16 lower with the appropriate voltages, nominal primary, so 12 kV all the way up, and our secondary, and then the, the appropriate turns ratio. Now to perform the test, you can either import data, which you have previously, if we click that, you can import from a file or from the device. So if you have a file on your computer or if it's from whichever instrument that you're using, you can import that data. You can come over to one of these test tabs here. And for instance, let's perform test one, which is primary tap one to the secondary nominal. And you can see we have phase A, B, and C. It's testing tap 1, the voltage primary 13 kV, nominal secondary at 480 volts, and the test voltage is on automatic. And we can see the test has finished in our test status. Here we have our actual turns ratio compared to the calculated turns ratio. We can see the error, the deviation, and the excitation current, and the status of each individual phase. If we wish to retest just one phase, we could retest phase A by simply pressing retest A. Now it is done. Or we can retest all phases by clicking retest all. If we wanted to finish, we can click done, or we can click test next tap. Now it has moved. It will offer us the option to save this data 
and now it has tested the next tap. So primary tap two now with a voltage of 12,500 to 480. If we click to the right, it actually brings open a window that gives you a more detailed explanation and you can copy this if you wish to paste into your reporting or some other comment section. We can click done and here now we have our first two done. If we wish to perform the next test we just simply click the next the three here or just continuing by pressing change tap. Notice that the test voltage is at 8 volts. We cannot change that because it is set to automatic. If we wish to change that, we can go into our test settings, into our turns ratio, and you can change the test voltage from auto to 8, 40, or 80 volts. Now let's take a look at primary nominal to secondary taps. You can see all the primary on their nominal position and the secondary changing from 16 raised to 16 lower. Here is the same premise. If we wish to perform the test, we simply click the tap number. Again, it will start the testing. Here we can see the detailed explanation as it performs the test. And again, we can perform ne next tap or simply say that we are done with that test and you do that for all of your taps. Finally you have your manual turns ratio test. Here you can import what tap you're on so nominal for instance to keep it easy and nominal here as well. You select those voltages which in this case would be 12 kV and 480 volts. Again, you click 39, which is the test number for here. It will perform the test and simply click done when you are finished. So th this option allows you to run the test manually without having these pre-selected tests set up. This concludes how to perform a turns ratio test using the three phase turns ratio and winding resistance test form 56000. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.